foundations of the place that I once called home. And now it's begun. I wish I had more time. You can't stay here, lest this place become your concrete grave. Forget about me. Run. Run! The term I really like to describe the field that I'm in and the areas that I research is creative computing, the name of this old uh, computer magazine um, at a time when the home computer allowed a lot of people to experiment and uh, find out what the computer could do in terms of uh, creating beauty, uh, joy, entertainment. I'm a writer and a poet. I create interactive fiction and story generators. I'm very interested in uh, language and specifically what the computer can do in these sorts of modes with language. One thing you can do with computers is to create really giant systems that embody certain ideas about cognition, narrative, and uh, they're a very large-scale, multi-year projects that use the computer as a way to investigate you know, how stories are put together, for instance. So I have a project, CurveShip, that is such a system this is a, a, a project that builds on narrative theory. Um, it also builds on uh, you know, existing very good models for how to put interactive fiction together and uh, tries to take the form of interactive fiction in a new dimension. There's a lot of experimentalism in it. Uh, there's a lot of constrained writing in it. Uh, there's a lot of use of language and metaphor in specific ways in it. Uh, there's experimentation with narrative and loops and it's a very yeasty uh, feel because it, it brings a lot of people who have interest in high theory but also in how these theories get applied into actual production of avant-garde art. I also like to sketch and create very small scale uh, story generators, poetry generators, you know, other systems that I might think about for a while and then execute in a few hours. Taroko Gorge, which I wrote in one day uh, in Taiwan, it has these single lines that are very long and that you can't see the end of that trail off, which are like the tunnels in uh, Taroko Gorge. And then these longer runs of lines, which describe things that you might see on paths outside. And so it's meant to uh, simulate, in a certain way, the process of walking through this park. Some of my friends and fellow writers and colleagues have taken this up and made their own versions, like Scott Retberg's Tokyo Garage, which is based on the code that uh, I wrote, but uses uh, a large body of text that uh, he brought in to replace what I'd written. Uh, instead of being a portrait of a place that uh, he visited, it's his imagination of what Tokyo is like based on all sorts of cultural stereotypes that we have in the West. And then J.R. Carpenter uh, developed a piece about the uh, uh, excesses of uh, consumption and eating that was uh, simply called Gorge. So even though this is a simple piece that I did in one day, it offered to some other people a way in to think about how language might combine and how they might produce uh, not just a single text, but a generator of language that gave us an interesting texture. I like this type of uh, capability, the ability to sketch with digital media and work with this, and, uh, and to actually try out ideas you know, by thinking through them in code and seeing how they work um, the same way that I might uh, write something in my notebook. Between the lab model of the sciences, where there's a lab director and then students do work, and the solitary model of the humanities, there's not much possibility really for um, for this sort of collaboration um, in the world right now, but I'm trying to open up those particular uh, sorts of possibilities and find ways that aren't uh, hierarchical on the one hand or completely isolated on the other uh, of doing academic work.